over the ropes, big deal. Introducing first, from St. Paul, Minnesota, weighing 200 and two pounds, Shin Back it up, gentlemen, back it up. One, one, And his opponent, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing 200 and 50 pounds, Welcome back to Pro Wrestling Battleground Breakout TV. I'm Kyle. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. He's got a match. What are you doing? Rob, he's got a match. That's not what I'm going to ask about. Yeah. I'm asking about you stealing my gimmick. I'm the guy that does the openings around here. You weren't back right, here yet. Yeah. yeah, you're right. You're right. All right. Chin Hollows, Paul Reed, our opening contest here tonight. Yeah, when it's what second time we've seen Jin in the ring. A very hard-hitting matchup last time against Damon Spriggle. That's right. That's right. Paul Reed just coming off that loss against Bill Williams in the championship match. Got to climb the ladder back into title contention. A win over Jin Hollows is going to get him in the right direction here tonight. Oh, big time for him. I don't know if that's the smartest option. Do that to Paul Reed. Paul Reed's a very heavy striker. Paul Reed's a very heavy striker, but then again, so was Damon Spriggle last time, and Jin, Jin was able to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Well, he's not in the ring with Damon Spriggle. He's got about 50 pounds on Damon Spriggle, does Paul Reed. So yeah. let's stop talking about Damon Spriggle and start talking about this contest, which is, as we mentioned, two young guys, Paul Reed. Big shoulder tackle sends Jin Hollows to the canvas. Yeah, that is that is the power advantage that Paul Reed usually has in most of his matches. Oh, ho, ho, my goodness. Just took all the momentum Jin Hollow has had and back to the mat. Big time running corner splash, clothesline, Irish rip, reverse up and over. Paul Reed off the ropes, duck the clothesline. Oh, big time forearm sends Jin Hollows back to the canvas. This could be over in a real quick hurry if this keeps going like this. Yeah, Paul Reed has always shown the power, but that a lot of athleticism here in the early going of this matchup. Jin Hollows. Well, he's going to go for a, a roll-up here. That did 
not work in his favor. Big back elbow from the Northern Force. Oh, beautiful German suplex by Jin Hollows. Unable to make the cover though. Paul Reed getting to the ropes. Now one of Jin Hollow's biggest problems is this right here. He goes and jaw jacks with the marks on the outside. He needs to worry about Paul Reed in the ring and not what the marks are worrying about. Now referee Dan Fitzgerald admonishing the choke in the ropes. Gonna stomp him away in the corner. Ouch! Just verbally berating Paul yeah, Reed like in the a corner. Lot, a lot of trash talk here from Jen Hollow. He now finds himself in a very precarious position. Jen Hollow is looking for a big W over him. As you previously mentioned, the man who was just on the to the last show in Paul Reed. Imagine what this could do for a career of Jim Hollows knocking off a guy like Paul Reed. Yeah, like we said, Paul Reed had climbed up the ladder all the way to a title match. Unloading a forearms. Big time clothesline sends Paul Reed back to the canvas. But to your point, he did climb all the way up was unsuccessful, but if Jin Hollows can get a victory here over him, can we put him in line for a breakout title shot potentially? Yeah, breakout title champ championship shot, cut a lot more, and yeah, moving up the card. Taking the air and the oxygen away from Paul Reed and Jin Hollows here, and still berating him the entire time. That's gotta throw Paul Reed off his game a little bit, you'd think. And maybe trying to play a little bit of mind games. Definitely has to throw you off. If someone's just trash talking you while choking the life out of you, it's got to throw you off completely. Another big time clothesline. But as you said, going to you trash talk and going to the fans instead of following up. You should stay on him right here. You shouldn't worry. You shouldn't just be playing with his food, as they say. Kicking the man in the head. He should be attacking him, laying him strike, maybe applying a submission hold. Up and over. Oh! oh. Nice shoulder tackle from Jim Hollis. Jim Hollis seems to have a little bit of the speed advantage here in the early going. It's not here. Oh, my goodness. That's not good. Yeah, Paul Reed's quick himself, though. Knee right to that middle turnbuckle. That could change the complexion. Oh, diving forearm from Paul Reed. Crawling oh, over for the cover. Not the best cover because he could not get the body across the shoulders. Easily allowing Jen Hollows to kick out. Right there, but that was a big time flying forearm. Something you don't really see from Paul. Yeah, you don't see that that often. And him going to the top. Oh, oh you see yeah. that a lot. Yeah, I was going to say, you see that a lot, though, that, that headbutt. See that a lot, too, from Paul Reed. Paul Reed just yeah, laying down the This and headbutts, that's for sure. Just firing off on a few cold right hands. The referee, uh-oh. Oh, big. Oh, he got the shoulder up. Not the best cover, but he was still able to get the shoulder up. And Jin Hollow has shown a lot of fight, though. He did get, he does have a lot of fight in him. You're absolutely right. Paul Reed now still trying to, oh! Nice kick there from Jin Hollows. Paul Reed still fighting out of it. You can see Paul Reed is a little wore out still from earlier. He did not have as much on those shots. Oh! Paul Reed just kind of bulldozers over him. Yeah, big almost like bear hug tackle. Not enough to get the three count though. He's showing a little frustration and not being able to put him away right there. Paul Reed. Looking to follow up though. Big time Laria maybe. Oh, here comes that big power slam. Oh, Chin Hollows. Got a little Locking bit of eyes into the sleeper. Locking in the sleeper. Let's see if Paul Reed can fight out of this. 
Referee Dan Fitzgerald checking on Paul Reed. Got it in there pretty good, but Paul Reed using his strength to power out of it. You gotta think that his running lights are a little dim. Nice back suplex. Yeah, the, gin hollows. yeah, the thing with the sleeper, why it's so effective is it takes the oxygen away from your brain, which makes it a little harder to think. Jin Hollow celebrating a little too early. And again, allowed Paul Reed to kick out and not putting any weight on the shoulders. Celebrating a little bit, a little nonchalant cover. Not something you want to do with a guy like Paul Reed. Back to the sleeper, though. Yeah, just trying to wear down Paul Reed. And it's wearing him down. You can see the light ticking away from Paul Reed right in the center of the ring. And Dan Fitzgerald is in there. He's got a one count. One. Let's see how far this goes. He's got two. Now Paul Reed's not able to answer the count. Oh. Oh, my. Just far enough down. Paul Reed playing a little bit of okie-dokie on him gonna say something else but we have a guy on the roster who plays that pretty well yeah. oh kick to the knee from Jin Hollows has him oh, here comes lined up knee. nobody home here comes that power slam beautiful power slam in the center of the ring one two and three he got him Paul Reed gets back onto his winning ways with a big time victory over Chin Hollows.